In all the fuss and fun about Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 being delayed to 2023, I feel like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has gotten lost in the shuffle. This was a massive surprise announcement that people have just taken for granted, but no longer. Today we're back on the SV train because there's been a massive leak that I find so interesting and I'm really excited to share it with all of you. What's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Happy weekend vibes. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoy these videos and let me know what you think about this leak in the comments down below. If this is true, I'm telling you, this is like whale in the kiddie pool splash. Like this is gonna make a massive wave because they're giving it all to us. So you gotta grab your best snack. Go get the organic cheese puffs, the last box of Girl Scout cookies and get them for this video because there is so much and we're gonna blow the lid right off. Now I've been tracking this one for a few days now because it's gaining steam. All right, apparently this is big over in the Asian Pokemon community, but it's just starting to seep over into the West. And this is talking all about the main gimmick of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, how many new Pokemon are in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the starters final forms, there's a lot going on here as well as new regional forms. So let me break it all down for you. Big, big, big changes for Gen 9 because we know the Pokemon company is committed to making this the first truly open world Pokemon. We thought Legends Arceus was the big step for 2022, but no, that's just a bridge. It seems like Scarlet and Violet are going to be the true evolutionary move for this franchise and I am very excited. The graphics look better, the cities are huge, it's based on Spain it seems, and man, those starters. Gotta love me some Fue Coco. I know, everybody's all Sprigatito, but I'm Team Fue Coco, don't hate. What's going on here is that we have a Chinese uncle. You know what else has credibility and momentum? Freaking Lexar Play Card. It is the premier memory card for your Switch and they are fine people over there making a freaking great product. This gets the Switch Force seal of approval, comes in all sorts of sizes, all the way up to one terabyte, which is gonna save all your games, like literally as many as you could possibly buy. So make sure to click the link in the description down below. Every time you click it, it helps support the show and the channel, you just have to click. And I'm telling you, if you need extra storage for your Switch, the play card is the way to go. Okay, this sounds really weird. I'm not gonna get caught up on the semantics. There's Riddler Coup, there's Chinese Uncle, there's all these terms of where these leaks come from. But basically this big leak is talking about that Scarlet and Violet is going to have a major mechanic that is brand new to the series. The leak says that SV will be pulling heavily from old and scrapped ideas and that the game concept has been in the works for a while now and that the main new gimmick is similar to job changing in Final Fantasy, but with types. So you will somehow be able to swap in and out the types of your Pokemon and make them better suited for different battles. Now this would be very interesting and how it's accomplished, we do not know, but that would be a massive new mechanic added in to kind of take things to another level. One thing I wanna point out is clearly types are important because in the trailer, we saw this big circle, this big ring with all the different types. And I wonder if the fact that they're on a circle, kind of like on a ring, does imply that they can be revolved, right? They can be swapped and switched and we'll have to see how this works. Now, of course, new Pokemon gens love to introduce new mechanics, right? We've got Gigantamaxing, we got Mega Evolutions. Type changing would be a nice new twist. But I also wonder if there will be another set of new mechanics, something around catching. Because catching is something that they've experimented with heavily as of late. All right, you can go back to Pokemon Go, introducing a new type of catching, then Pokemon Let's Go built on that and sort of bridge that into video game console play. And then Pokemon Legends Arceus, again, a very new way to interact, engage with the catching mechanic. And the fact that this is going to be an open world Pokemon game, do they just take the catching from Legends Arceus? But then how does that work in the traditional structure where you're not trying to amass a humongous Pokedex of so many duplicates? Will it be traditional or will they find yet again a new way to catch Pokemon? And then of course, job change them. That could be a really seismic shift for this franchise. The leak continues with possibly the most exciting part, saying that SV will have one of the largest new Pokemon selections in a very long time. They're talking about a Gen 1, 3, or 5 level. We're talking like 130 plus new Pokemon in this adventure. That would be a massive, massive expansion of the already massive roster, but it would be welcome, right? It really would set this apart. It's a big open world and you would be exploring it and really exploring to find new things. I mean, the wild areas felt new and fresh and finding some fun faces there was cool. And then Legends Arceus kind of borrowed this interesting Pokedex with a few new forms, but it's a brand new set of the scope and size of Gen 1, like 150 
that would really make this feel like, wow, like they really are taking this to a different place. And this could become the Pokemon of the generation. You've already had so many major titles. Like what's the one that stands out for the Switch? And I feel like we haven't got it yet. I feel like this is going to be Scarlet Violet. I feel like that is the one that will set itself apart. And when we think back to this era of Pokemon, I think we'll think of this game. And if that's true about a massive new roster, it makes a whole lot of sense. They also say that there will also be regional forms in addition to all these new Pokemon. And they call out two specifically that do line up. The first is gonna be Tauros, all right? This game has a lot of Spanish influence and so Tauros makes sense. The leak says it's supposedly a fighting and Minotaur based Pokemon, sort of like Matador-esque fitting in with the regional area. And they're not sure if it's gonna be just a straight cross-gen evolution or if it's gonna be a regional variety. And they mentioned in a post Ursaluna world, we do need to think about cross-gen evolutions. They also talk about another Pokemon based on Ratoncito Perez, who is effectively the Spanish Tooth Fairy, and he's a mouse. And so if you match this up, it's like, oh, okay, the Dene would be the perfect Pokemon to give a new regional form, especially since the Dene is supposedly based upon the French Tooth Fairy, which is another similar mouse type creature. In terms of the story, supposedly the storyline is gonna have similarities to black and white, involving two feuding families who rule the region where one of the two families gets the opposite mascot legend. Okay, so two legendary Pokemon, one of the families is gonna have one of the legends and that's gonna create some sort of turmoil and tussle. They say that the mascot legendaries are going to be Dragon Fighting and Dragon Electric. Now, a lot of this lines up with previous leaks and things that people have found from Riddler Coup and are kind of tying all together. So this isn't just one of those pie in the sky things that, oh my goodness gracious, where did it come from? It dropped from the heavens and here it is. There's like a lot leading up to this. Clues have been dropped, hints have been given, and this kind of puts a lot of that together. And that's why it's gaining momentum rapidly. Now let's go to a really juicy part, which is the starter's final evolution type alignment. What types will they be? Sprigatito, Fuecoco, and Quaxley, where are they headed? Well, according to the Chinese Uncle Leek, it's gonna be Grass Dark, Fire Ghost, and Water Fighting. Now, if you just look at the Pokemon, this does line up. It would make sense. I mean, you've got Sprigatito over there, who clearly has some dark energy about her. And then you have Fue Coco, who's already wearing a skull. So a final form ghost type change makes a lot of sense. Water fighting for Quaxley also seems perfectly legitimate. Whether he evolves pirate style or just gets to be a bigger duck with bigger fists, that one adds up as well. So that's a lot to dig into. And if it's all accurate, that's a lot of good info about what we're gonna find in Pokemon Scarlet Violet. Now, June should be the time where the Pokemon company decides to have a presentation to really blow this one out and possibly reveal some of this stuff. But I really hope that it is true because getting major mechanical differences and a major roster infusion would help to go and make this game feel fresh. Look, Pokemon Legends Arceus was super successful already in 2022 because it felt so new. And I'd hate for us to go backwards and have Gen 9 just feel like a carbon copy of Gen 8 with a new region. So if this is the case, smart moves, smooth moves. I think you just push things even further and PLA is just the holdover. It's the one that got us to the really good place. If that's the case, that's incredibly exciting because Legends Arceus was already a revelation for the franchise and knowing this could be even bigger, even better, I'm extremely pumped. Let me know what you think about a job-changing major mechanic gimmick addition for Gen 9. And if you are as pumped as I am, hearing that there could be the largest addition of new Pokedex entries in forever, along with regional forms, cross-gen evolutions, and freaking fire ghost for Fue Coco. Guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. I'll keep you posted. I've been tracking this, and it seems like more and more people are picking up on this and really lining things up and saying, hey, this has a lot of clout and credibility and could be the real deal. So I'll keep you posted if I find out any more or if any other subsequent parts of this leak do drop. In the meantime though, thanks so much for watching everybody. Have a fantastic day. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. And until next time, love you lots. Switch Force, out.